हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज कल अमरदीप एंड यू आर वाचिंग द विनिंग एज करियर प्लस इन दिस वीडियो द टाइटल इज वेरी वेरी कंफ्यूजिंग डू नॉट जॉइन यूएन एंड इन द सेकंड लाइन वी हैव रिटन बिफोर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो दैट मींस काइंडली वॉच दिस वीडियो इफ यू आर थिंकिंग ऑफ जॉइनिंग द यूनाइटेड नेशन आई विल बी वेरी वेरी फ्रैंक एंड कैंडिड इन दिस वीडियो बिकॉज वी हैव बीन गाइडिंग कैंडिडेट्स फॉर यर देयर यू एन सेलेक्शन प्रोसेस वी आर ओनली द गाइड्स वी डोंट वी आर नॉट अ प्लेसमेंट एजेंसी वी आर नॉट रिलेटेड टू द यू एन एंड वी डू नॉट गारंटी एनी जॉब दिस अ डिस्क्लेमर दिस विल पुट इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑल्सो बट लॉर्ड ऑफ यंग बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स यंग प्रोफेशनल सीनियर ऑफिसर सीनियर गवर्नमेंट ऑफिशियल बिजनेस मैन ऑन्टरप्रनर्स आई कम अक्रॉस ऑलमोस्ट ऑन डेली बेसिस हु हैव एक्सप्रेस देयर डिजायर टू जॉइन यूनाइटेड नेशन सो द फ्यू थिंग्स दैट यू शुड कीप इन माइंड इफ यू want to join united nation in any capacity the united nation has two types of hiring one is the global hiring all professional p level d level all these jobs are globally hired that means from candidates from all the member countries they can join un in p and d level then there are national officers nos if there is a mission in africa in a particular country so many of the uh, people who are manning the un headquarters and various other sites of the un in that country will be locally recruited because it suits them they don't have to pay much firstly they uh, have no language barriers and the work and administration is that much easier but all those departments which require serious thought serious research lot of experience they will be hired globally that means whenever you are thinking of joining the united nations you should go through the qualitative requirements of those job very very carefully if i post a <coughs> job video that they are looking for human resources uh, experts or specialists all hr experts they start contacting me i want to apply for this job i ask them a simple question have you gone through this job profile in detail which may run into 10 to 12 pages now you and in their job profile job requirement they have listed specifically that you should have worked for at least 7 years in an international organization you don't have that you should have experience on hr packages erps you don't have that you should have handled projects done budgeting taken part in finance uh, planning taken part in so and so led teams everything is specified in black and white so just being in the uh, human resource department of amazon or a particular uh, company may not get you a you and job this is the first thing that you should do that you have to go through the qualitative requirement in detail second everybody is in a hurry the un job process selection process is long and tedious ten to 12 months is the average time before uh, when you apply and when you are finally shortlisted and this job may not be offered directly you may be rostered <clears throat> on the roster also you can be place for a duration of up to 3 years that means you are in the reserve list and some people they are now trying to apply for rostered vacancies un in their job uh, listing they have specified that these jobs jobs are only open to rostered vacancies they these are not open for all but then they say sir this vacancy looks very lucrative and all that and let me apply and they don't even have the basic uh, information available that they un is going to pick up people from the rostered vacancies A lot of things uh, you have to keep in mind now third thing that i am from india i get um, call from ladies and gentlemen that they are looking for un jobs in india very very difficult very small um, number of jobs will exist and uh, since all un jobs are contractual uh, the jobs will keep uh, Uh, reoccurring after a period of one year, two years, or three years, but specific country you cannot pick uh, jobs like this. That only I want a job in India near Delhi. This doesn't work. 
if you are planning to join united nations be open to place globally you can say i don't want to serve in south asia or middle east or uh, european countries or you may have your own biases and your own uh, likes and dislikes about a particular job or a particular place of posting but <coughs> you have to be uh, prepared to join uh, global vacancies so this mental mobility and flexibility is required when you are requiring when you are applying for un jobs the next thing is we don't plan there is no strategy lot of people i see they have contacted me we have communicated for a period of 3 months and then they have given up there is a lady who is a senior journalist and she has been sending me one message every month what is the cost of the package what is this do i fit in and all that i don't like uh, such uh, this kind of communication three p's we mention if you are passionate if you have patience and if you have perseverance there are not un jobs are not for casual people okay, okay i am doing this let me find out more about you my time is also costly my time is also valuable please value that time so you should have a strategy you may i get calls from girls and boys who are studying in class 12th yes very much please find out so what you you need to do is <coughs> when you are in class 12th all that you can think of is doing un internship that's it that too once you are in the final year of graduation or you have just finished the graduation so you must acquire that knowledge and work on a strategy simple strategies acquiring qualifications additional qualifications as you finish your graduation 3 years graduation or 4 years graduation program if you are pursuing my recommendation is french spanish all these languages you can prepare for the un exam and clear the un exam that makes you much more eligible for a un job the basic requirement for a un job for regular job is graduation plus 3 years of experience i need i get freshers i am a graduate fresh graduate and i want to join un but un says you need to have 3 years of experience without experience there is something called as ypp young professionals program you just need to be a graduate but india is not part of ypp currently not part of ypp because ypp is for those countries which are under represented in the united nations india is very well represented so i don't foresee india being part of ypp in the near future so why uh, put all your eggs in the ypp basket why not try for p2 and d level jobs from p2 to d2 all the jobs are open but for that you have to have strategy so you have to have computers knowledge you have to have work experience and now this experience is you are a graduate of electronics engineering from iit and you are applying for vacancies which are human rights or human resources both are hr they will say sir what is your qualifications in human rights what is your qualification in human resource management do you have a degree or diploma in that and have you worked in that field plus do you have additional language certification so this can be acquired by anybody do you have any additional certification as far as computer uh, software this thing human human resource packages are concerned have you worked in a uh, place or a international organization have you written a paper have you done all these things so these things what you are required to do for that you please need to uh, you need to get in touch with me so we have a package of rupees only 699 uploaded on our mobile app so i will not talk to you till the time you have gone through this stage one of the package and you can join it for as low as 199 rupees for a week you will finish the entire set of videos in a day might as well invest on yourself there are no free lunches that is the biggest gyan in the world that there are no free lunches sir and then next logical step is one on one session with our mentor that the paid session will cost you 5000 rupees please spend this money and then get in touch with a professional who will guide you regarding what should be your strategy which are the institute which will give you language certification how to pass the un language exam everything is there 
and if you are a professional who has already had 10 to 15 years of experience and you meet at least 60% of the QRs then you please buy the UN guidance pack or 6 months or for 1 year that again is a paid package so this investment is required to be done by you but just by paying us will not get you a UN job we don't guarantee any jobs we will only help you in preparing your application preparing the motivation statement using the right words using the right kind of uh, terminologies converting your experience into the UN language that is what our forte is secondly if you get shortlisted for a particular job we will prepare you for the written exam we will prepare for, prepare you for the competence based interview whether you clear the written exam or the interview is entirely up to you not up to me or not up to us the next thing to be kept in mind is the age bracket UN employs or offers the age bracket of 18 to 62 years for regular jobs plus there is a mandatory requirement for regular jobs is graduation plus minimum three years of experience so if you don't have these th uh, these two qualifications please don't uh, uh, contact me for the job application you can contact us for a one-on-one -on -one session which is a paid session that is an investment on yourself i'll <laughs> do the uh, cost benefit analysis also this is a huge bracket there are people who are retiring at 60 even they have two years of application time because the salaries for this age bracket and experience bracket are in excess of 200k plus USD annual. So you are looking at huge um, salary packages, very fat salary packages that too tax exempt. But then you have to follow the strategy. Now doing the cost benefit analysis, I told you our package is available. Stage one is at 699 rupees. That also you can join for as low as INR199. Please do that. Less than a cup of coffee in uh, Costa Coffee or Starbucks. Next is, there is a one-on-one -on -one session. I told you currently it is priced at rupees 5000. The best investment on yourself. Best two hours of your life. If you are thinking of joining United Nations either today or even after 10 years. You will get the correct alignment about your profile, about your strategy that you need to follow for your application process. And next is if you already meet the qualification, then you have to subscribe to the package. The highest, the biggest package is less than 30K for one year. <clears throat> I see people not even flinching, not even blinking their batting their eyelids when they pick up a phone of 45,000 rupees. I have seen people carrying iPhones which are costing in excess of 1.5 lakhs. And this is an investment that you must do on yourself. There are no free lunches. I told you uh, initially also. So this is how the guidance package is aligned. How does the guidance, <coughs> the initial one-on-one -on -one session help you? You will get you will get analysis of your profile. There are doctors, there are dentists, there are pilots, fighter pilots, aviation experts, there are engineers, there are academics, there are linguists, there are language experts, there are MBAs, there are fresh graduates, there are political science masters, there are UN requires people from all walks of life, all specializations. However, having said that, you don't, all of you or all of us don't fit in one particular category. I retired from the army after 25 years of service. Now I can't be applying for entry level job that is P2. So I do fit in for P4 or P5. But for P5 certain additional requirements are there. What are those additional requirements which get cleared in this one on one session? You are studying in class 12th and you aspire to join UN after 6 years. What should be the strategy to be followed by you? You are preparing for civil services. You are working. You are uh, in the front office of a company. You are in the back end operations of a big uh, multinational. Whatever your qualification is, in case you are thinking of joining the UN, then the stage 1 and this stage 2 of our guidance process is a must. You must reach till here. So that is why I've said in this video that please do not join UN before watching this video. And then I tell people that please apply for multiple vacancies. So if you are a law expert, 
what you should be doing <clears throat> you can be hired by a number of un departments including un headquarters including uh, un missions including so many places uh, you can be employed but then in case you are in a conflict zone <clears throat> and you are uh, required to negotiate between uh, two governments or two entities then you should have additional expertise besides your law degree and experience so what are those things that you need to do will become very very clear in this one on one session you have been teaching in school for say 10 years and you are a political science graduate or a commerce graduate or whatever how does this qualification and this uh, experience translate into un language in the un uh, application process this will become clear in one on one session you are a fresh graduate you are looking for internship with un which are the places whether how much money you are required to spend uh, for the internship or will the un pay you for the internship all these questions they do become uh, clear in this one on one session so that is what i want to emphasize on and tell everyone that please don't join un before you have attended a one on one session with us how to do that i have posted the link of my stage 1 guidance in the description box along with this video the total money that you are required to spend is 699 rupees most of the content is free there are some videos which are locked which you can access only once you have made the payment you can access it for a period of 1 year or you can have a one week access for as low as rupees 199 then your commitment becomes serious so that is what i am leading you to that once you have gone through this content then you say kal namardeep i would like to go in for one on one session with brigadier george certainly the return on investment is too high provided then you seriously work towards your selection process the un selection rate is very very low but since all the jobs are contractual your dream of joining un now or in 5 years time may come true in case you have one of those p's that is perseverance you have patience and you have passion so uh, these three p's will make your un journey uh, fruitful that is all in this video my name is kal namardeep my company the winning edge was established in september 2019 and for the last 3 years we are in the business of guiding people towards their application process for un selections and uh, there is reasonable amount of success number of people uh, who have reached the interview stage is commendable number of people who have been finally placed it is minuscule but it is there it is not zero zero but we are not a placement agency and in each video in each of my talk uh, i emphasize in all correspondence we give the disclaimer that please don't come and contact us if you are looking for a job we will not guarantee any placement because we are not related to the un and we are not a placement agency all that we do is credible guidance which is not available anywhere else thank you bye bye and jai